obviously you're used to working in a virtual environment from Sin City. Does the, the lack of a physical location bother you or do you find that a challenge? I was, I was quite, uh, Sin City is even more because like, for example, you would not be in a car, you would just be sitting on a box and all this. So I was, I was so worried at the beginning when they, they told me that. But then you just have, if you have a real human being, a real actor in front of you, then it's, that's the main thing. It's like being on stage. That's what matters. Uh, and they kind of, they always give you like pictures of what it's going to look like. So you kind of, you know what you're going to be surrounded by. And in this case, uh, you know, it, the, the vast historical nature and the settings is, uh, you know, <laughs> you're surrounded by a lot that is not there. Yes, I mean, we, we, we the set designers showed the actors, you know, what it would look like. Uh, I was kind of glad that there was no water because I, I'm seasick. So I was like, is the boat going to move? No, 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 we'll, we'll do it later. I'm like, oh, okay, great. Sometimes we had to pretend it was moving. But you know that was it, um, and yeah, the whole green, green, the green stuff. It's sometimes you wish it was red or, or purple, or another color than green. Uh, but yeah, you just have to use your imagination. Right. And it sounds like a contradiction, but you actually get to create an historical character in this film. Yeah, I mean, uh, my character is very loosely based on on the the real Artemisia. Yeah, we, we should do another film about the real Artemisia because the real Artemisia was in love with Xerxes. So it's a whole different story. Yes. Is yeah. it, to your knowledge, is there an historical basis for Artemisia and Themistocles uh, meeting? No, it never happened. <laughs> it's a film, yes. <laughs> right. uh, how did you find the mixture of his history and mythology? It, it's, it's a difficult mixture, a, a blend to pull off, right? Oh God, I don't know how to answer this. Um, I mean, it's, it, is, uh, it is so, I think, quite far away from history that it's a difficult question to, I don't want to say anything, I would say something wrong, so yeah. uh, rewind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but she, Artemisia, obviously is a very intriguing character, a very uh, strong female warrior leader, um, which at the time, I guess, was quite unusual. Yeah, totally. I mean, the, a woman at the head of an army, uh, navy, was non-existent almost. She's like, I see her as, a, as an Amazon or as a um, samurai. You know, she, she's so ballsy and she, you know, she will fight to the death, you know, surrender is is not an option, you know, she's, um, you know, obsessed by vengeance and will do anything to get what she wants. There is quite an elaborate backstory, <laughs> which obviously is fictional, but it sort of, you know, sets up her, her frame of mind. Totally, I mean, she, she was um, traumatized as a child, her whole family got killed. Um, she's Greek by birth and she was rescued by the king of the Persian Empire and he kind of raised her like, um, like his daughter and he taught her the, you know, the, the, the art of war and then he made her commander of the, of the army. But that kind of trauma as a child hardened her heart and she had to build this armor to survive. She's pretty impressive. Yeah, you wouldn't want to mess with her really. Yeah. I gather you took the, the fight sequences and the training quite seriously. Yes, I mean, it, it is an action film, you know, and it's, um, we, we, it's, it was like a dance, you know, it, I, I kind of, you felt very powerful, you know, in, after a few weeks of training and it's, um, it's kind of like, like, kind of like a drug, weirdly, you kind of, you feel, yeah, you feel strong and you feel like you could kick some ass in real life, which is not true, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's, it's, it's um, liberating. Girl power. Yes. <laughs> you probably could, you know, be quite useful with a <laughs> sword these days. Yes. Um, how, um, I like the way you said it, you know, sort of choreographing the fight sequences, um, you know, on, in a virtual world, is, is, it, is that strange or is it just, I guess it's fighting in close contact and... Yes, it's mm. fighting with a with a real guy, and you know, and it's um. Yes. We... Right. Um, 
a uh, a Greek who hates Greece. You know, she's really seems to be um, powered by by vengeance. Yes, I mean, as she says in the film, uh, you know, she's Greek by birth, but her heart is Persian. You know, she she was raised by King Darius, so you know, she she's in her head, yeah, one hundred percent Persian. Yeah. yeah. Um, she is cloaked in, you know, very in, by darkness. Really, let's face it. She's dressed in black. The ships are black. A bit of gold. <laughs> yes. Little gold highlight. Yes. <laughs> Little bling <laughs> on the armor. Um, does that sort of, you know, set her um, her nature for you as being a very? Yeah, she is full of darkness. And what's interesting also is when she kind of um, uh, she's very intrigued by the Greek. Um, Commander Themistocles, uh, because she finds him um, such a brilliant strategist, and she comes to admire him, and she um, she will try and ask him to join her and fight by by her side, and and he could be somebody who could um, kind of um, bring back her humanity, or you know, the love could happen or not, and but you know, it's. Um, it's another story. Things are quite complicated between those two. Right. So there's a, an intellectual appreciation as, as well as possibly a physical one. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> I did quite like this, um, uh, just historically. We, did you go back and, and read up on, obviously uh, for Artemisia, but the, 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 the period in which this film and the, and the previous film, 300, was set, um, that they are sort of parallel yes. battles and, you know, contemporaneous um, sagas, let's say, yeah. Yes, I mean, while um, Leonidas and, and his Spartans are, are fighting on, on land, you have um, Themistocles, the commander of the, the Greek navy that is battling with um, the Persian um, navy that is led by Artemisia, my character. So, yeah, it's a parallel battle. You know, she, she, she thinks, you know, I mean, she has, she, you know, the Persian Empire was so massive. She thinks she's going to win the battle very easily. And then she sees Themistocles, who has so little resources, and he turns out to be so fierce and, you know, so clever that she kind of becomes weirdly obsessed by him. You know, she wants to possess her arch enemy in some way, and and that and she's kind of attracted to him too. So that that's kind of it could it brings a tiny soft side to her, I think. Yeah.